Do you believe that humans only use 10% of their brains? Does lightning strike the same place twice? Are we really descended from apes? There are so many things we ask ourselves aside from our daily musings. Welcome to The Buses, the channel that provides you the bestest news and videos you should know about. In today's episode, we'll discuss the most famous myths in the world that you should know about. Before we start, please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to get notifications of our videos. We all know that the bestest can serve you a platter filled with everything you have yet to find out. These questions have become myths in our own lives. It's an interesting list of certain things our curiosity constantly feeds on. Slowly debunking these myths have become a way for all of us to move forward despite asking these on a regular basis. And this is why the bestest has decided to highlight all the debunked myths in the world. At number one, we have the myth about lightning never strikes the same place twice. First, you should know that this myth is dangerously wrong. Lightning often strikes the same place twice. Well, at least the area within a close vicinity. No weather forecaster would recommend you to stand on where lightning has already struck. You are not protected in that spot, okay? And if forecast shows thunderstorms then, it's a better idea to suspend your golf game and kite flying for another day. Stay until the end of this episode to know the truth behind some other myths. All of these truth bombs are just waiting to explode. Moving on to what's next on our episode. At number two, we have myths about human brains only using 10% of it. We all have believed this myth. But believe it or not, the human brain is quite busy all day and night using about 20% of the body's resources. It never really turns off. Well, at least until we die. Every part of the human brain does all sorts of things to the point where we don't even notice all of it. Various parts of our brain are active all the time, even more than the 10% we thought. There's even the possibility of tapping into unrealized potential. You can easily learn a new skill, gain a new memory, or even think about a person's face. This stimulates your brain in different ways and even utilizes an active part for a new purpose. Isn't the human brain an incredible marvel? At number 3, we have the myth about bulls becoming angry at the color red. We may have seen too many stereotypical Spanish films to assume this. Believe it or not, bulls and other cattle are partially colorblind and cannot see the color red. However, these creatures are testy and defensive creatures that will charge when threatened, frightened, angry, or just annoyed. Their fight or flight instinct is simply biased toward fight. In bullfights, the matador may wield a red cape which is called the muleta. But it is the matador's taunting, threats, and overall behavior that make the bull charge. Bulls don't even mind the sight of red, but they do, however, get angry at the sight of jerks. So, really, who can blame them for that? At number 4, we have the myth about human beings being evolved from apes. Yes, we are all familiar with Charles Darwin's theory of evolution. The most rabid critics and supporters of evolution can agree on this point. But the standard evolutionary account is that human beings and the higher apes evolved from a common ancestor often referred to as the missing link. We all know that humans evolved from an ancestor that was far more ape-like than humans. However, this doesn't confirm that humans evolved from apes. Instead, these humans share a common ancestor. At number 5, we have the myth about five senses. Don't think about Bruce Willis's The Sixth Sense. I see dead people. You should know that besides the five empirical senses, there are at least four other senses that are rarely cited. One is the proprioception, which senses one's orientation in space. Then there's thermoception, the sense of temperature. There's also equilibrioception, which is the sense of balance. 
last one is interoception, the sense of one's physiological condition. Well, think about these four other senses as a kind of superpower. Do you believe in these myths before it was debunked? Or is it something you knew that wasn't true? Since we're already halfway through this episode, we're still gonna uncover a few more myths you'd surely stay interested in. Up next is a myth we continue to believe even when it's now debunked. At number 6, we have the myth about the 5 second rule. Sorry to say, but the 5 second rule has been debunked. Bacteria can actually attach itself to your food even if you pick it up super fast. It relies on moisture to grow. Any fallen food is considered potentially hazardous. But with dry food, it's much tougher for bacteria to grow. At number 7, we have the myth about drinking 8 glasses of water a day. Doesn't this confuse you? More like what kind of glasses or even what is the size of the glasses you should be drinking, right? It is confusing, but it is another popular myth to be debunked. Most healthy people can stay hydrated by drinking water and other fluids only whenever they feel thirsty. For some people, fewer than 8 glasses a day might be enough. But sometimes there are other people who need more glasses of water to drink. The amount of sweating and or exercise you do in a day is a factor in thirst. When considering total water intake, all forms of common beverages such as water, coffee, tea, soda, and juice help keep us very well hydrated. Also, the moisture content in the foods we consume contributes significantly to our daily total water intake. So at least there are a lot of ways for you to stay hydrated. At number 8, we have the myth about vaccines weakening your immune system. We have seen a lot of anti-vax people around recently. But first, you should know that vaccines do not weaken the immune system. Second, they do not make a child sick with the disease being vaccinated against. Let's just clarify that for a while before moving forward. Vaccines introduce a disabled antigen into the body so the immune system can produce antibodies against it and create immunity to the disease. Antigens are anything that stimulate an immune response. In vaccines, these are parts of a virus or maybe a substance that a bacteria produces. This is why it's not uncommon for a child to develop a mild runny nose or maybe even a cough after receiving the flu vaccine. It's because it takes about two weeks for the flu vaccine to become effective. So someone in this situation might assume that the flu vaccine gave them the flu. And that's why the vaccine isn't a fake thing. At number 9, we have the myth about cracking joints causes arthritis. Some people might find the sound annoying, but that's actually the only harm it does. You may think bones or joints rub together to cause the noise, but that's not so. It results from a gas bubble that forms between the bones and pops. If it's something you enjoy doing, then just keep doing it. Studies and research show that it doesn't cause or play a role in arthritis. If you feel regular or severe pain when you do it, see your doctor. It always feels a little different when a truth bomb gets dropped on us. Despite a lot of people already used to these things, there's still a little part inside of us that wishes these myths were true. Well, anyways, it's just either weird or something we could get used to one way or another. And since we're nearing the end of this episode, please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all our episodes. So let's move on to the last myth we have highlighted in this episode. At number 10, we have the myth about absinthe being hallucinogenic. Heavy drinkers think that absinthe is a hallucinogenic drink, but it's really not. Certain absinthe marketers just love to capitalize on their product's illicit reputation. However, absinthe is not likely to make you see things just like vodka, whiskey, or tequila. 
Recent specific studies have even demonstrated beyond doubt that pre-ban absinths contained no hallucinogens, opiates, or other psychoactive substances. The most powerful element in absinthe is and has always been a high volume of neatly disguised, seductively perfumed alcohol. So sorry to burst your bubble, but absinthe is just basically another kind of alcohol beverage. We have highlighted so many myths in this episode, but we are sure that there are far more myths we continue to believe until today. Hopefully these myths would be debunked in the future. For now, these myths are enough to keep us curious about how things actually go. We're sure that there is one myth that has always kept you interested. What's that myth? Let us know in the comment section below. Make sure to like and subscribe to The Bestest and hit the bell icon to access more of our videos. Thank you so much for watching and until our next Bestest video.